Hello, everyone. I'm Bingjie. And I'm Nicole. And we are the student volunteer chairs for Kai 2021. Every Kai student volunteers can be spotted wearing their colorful T-shirts, doing various tasks to help the conference run smoothly. But there's a lot more about the program that people don't know or see. And maybe you are asking yourself now what it is like to be an SV. And whether you should apply, we asked six student volunteers in past years, sharing their experiences. Let's see what they have to say. So Kai is a big conference, and it can be a bit overwhelming for people, especially if they're new to the HCI community. So there's lots and lots of people, and it's never really clear,、um, like who the students are, who the faculty are, who. Who are the folk from industry?、Um, but being a student volunteer means that you quickly make friends with,、um, you know, with about two hundred odd students.、Um, that then you get to be able to pick out of the crowd during the course of the conference. It was like one of the most exciting、um, things that I did in my like PhD career, and also like it being Kai, like as big as it is, and like. As international as it is, that was、um, very interesting for me to be part of it. Community is big,、um, and most of the time, when we are out doing our PhDs, we only see a very small part—the the part that actually interests us—and we also in, engage only with the people that are very close to us, writing similar papers, have very similar interests. And the SV program opens up. Um, engaging with all the other SVs, which are having other perspectives, to meet more people from other communities within the HCI community that I normally wouldn't meet. And a few of the SVs had to help construct this、uh, huge art installation, and it was made with bottles、um, that would snap together with custom 3D printed connectors. Um, so this this structure was like two or three big arches that would overlap.、Um, so yeah, that was an experience. Having access to the、uh, the SV room. So this may seem like something that is insignificant, but、uh, Kai can be really overwhelming. And the SV room provides a, a safe place where you can just go,、uh, sit down. Just unwind from all of those social interactions and meet with with just、uh, random students from around the world that are that share some some、uh, some passion with you. My favorite one always was、uh, the Monday morning shift of actually being at the registration、um, and seeing hundreds of people just、uh, come in the first time to the venue at that day, picking up their badge. I think seeing all the faces and all the big names also that was for me、uh, the most. The best shift, and I love the lunches. Like、um, every year, I strategically <laughs> ask for a person to be at the lunch. Sometimes they were like, "I want to meet this person because they are amazing, and I think I think it's so inspirational." And、um, maybe they are interested in what I do. Maybe not. It doesn't matter. But like you know, it would be just that. It was just a great opportunity to take on the party at the end, which. Um, was absolutely so much fun because during the week you get to、um, meet all these people and never really get to spend time with them because of all the exciting talks that are going on and things like that. So、um, to actually spend time with them、uh, at the party and get to know each other on a different level,、um, that was very nice. The SV party is the only party. <laughs> I would recommend the SV program to to. Especially new people coming in, in in the Kai community, because it gets you free registration. So it's, so it, it makes the the commitment of attending Kai much less of a, a burden. But to me, the the most benefit you get is from meeting the other SVs. The other student volunteers are from all over the planet. They're studying all type of different things, and everybody is extremely friendly in those settings. And I don't know. I've had the best the best experience meeting people there. You meet long life friends at Kai, I think, and within Sig Kai community,、um, they're really friendly and helpful. It's actually the people you meet that are your peers. So、um, connections that I've made during SVing are still ones that I hold dear to my heart, and some of them, a whole lot of people 
who do a whole lot of different research in different areas and it helps now with like you know selecting reviewers getting a more diverse panel service roles that you want to do with people when you are at some point in a position where you can suggest others those are the people that come to mind and and like that's kind of the network that really happens there that is so important it's just that it allowed me really to then get to know so many people very quickly um, who would become future faculty and, and industry peers as well. So um, I think if I wasn't an SD, I might not have had as many opportunities as I have had. The, the way of meeting people in that kind of format is, is very different to just generally attending a conference. I was helping with the conference, so I wasn't just attending it, but I was actually like an active part of it, an important part of it. Um, that was very meaningful and um, enjoyable for me. For 2019, I was assistant to the general chairs. And I have to say that having been in SV gave me like this kind of overview of how the conference works, which I found um, incredibly helpful also in understanding what the SV program does and what it should do and what can be the expectations. I've been a volunteer for 15 years and to see that, to see how well Kai is organized and how the SV chairs actually organize so many volunteers that was impeccable um, is the right word to use for that. I was really impressed. Um, and it's the first time actually as a volunteer in 15 years that I've actually felt appreciated. So and I think like anyone in the field like who's doing research, who is a student, um, should take this opportunity and uh, have the experience of being in the field. I hope this video gave you an idea of what it's like being a student volunteer at CHI. And we encourage you to apply especially if you've never been to Kai before. Stay safe and hope to see you in May.